Hello dear friends, I am Ms. Varsha Gaitonda and in this video I am going to talk about the multiple utility of corn or in general we can call it a specialty corn. Specialty corn, waxy high amylose, sweet high oil, blue red cupium, silage corn, pipe corn, broom corn, ornamental corn and high protein corns produced through ordinary breeding have been incorporated into many different products with improved functionality or nutritional values are nothing but special corns or we can say specialty corn there are different types like sweet corn is ziamis saccharata pod corn ziamis tunicata popcorn ziamis everta Waxy corn, Giamese amylosa, Dent corn, Giamese indentata, and Flint corn, Giamese indurata. Corn variation may be artificially defined according to kernel type as Dent, Flint, Four, Flour, Sweet, Pop, and Pod. Except for Pod corn, these divisions are based on the quality, quantity, and pattern of endosperm composition in the kernel and are not indicative of natural relationships. Endosperm composition may be changed by a single gene difference as in the case of flory versus flint. Flory is FL recessive condition and flint is dominant condition whereas sugary SU is recessive and starchy is uh, dominant. Waxy is recessive non waxy is dominant and other single recessive gene modifiers that have been used in breeding special purpose type of corn the quality or volume of endosperm conditioning the size of the kernel like difference between dent and flint corn or flint corn and popcorn is polygenic and in the later example is the of some taxonomic significance popcorn trait is monogenic and more of an ornamental type Major gene involved is TU, that is dominant gene, produces long glooms exposing each kernel individually such as occurs in many other grasses. Coming to dent corn, originated from the hybridization of southern dent or late flowering maize race called god seed and the early flowering northern flint. Dent corn is characterized by the presence of cornus horny endosperm at the sides and uh, back of the kernels while the central core is soft flory endosperm extending to the crown of the endosperm where upon drying it collapses to produce a distinct indentation. Degree of denting varies with the genetic background. Nearly all varieties grown are yellow with only few white endosperm types grown. Dent corn is used primarily as animal feed but also serves as a raw material for industry and as a staple food. Upwards of 93% of dent corn produce is used for animal feed. Yellow dent corn sells at market price as it enters the normal feed grain or milling character or channel. White dent often receives a premium price in the dry milling industry where it is utilized for certain human food products because of its whiter starch. Flint corn. This is uh, mostly a thick hard vitreous or glassy or carneous endosperm layer surrounding a small soft granular center. The relative amount of soft and corneous starch, however, vary, vary in different varieties. Generally, the kernels are smooth and rounded and the ears long and slender with a comparatively small number of rows of kernels. In temperate zones, flint corn often matures earlier, germinates better, has more spring weaker, more pillars and fewer prop roots than dent stains. Very little flint corn is produced and utilized today although it was uh, undoubtedly grown extensively up to colonial times. Generally yields are lower than our corn belt dents in part because relatively little breeding work is done. 
these are more extensively grown in Argentina and other parts of uh, South America, Latin America and Southern Europe where they are used to feed and food. Floor corn. This is also one of the oldest type tracing back to the ancient Aztecs and Incas. American Indians ground the soft kernels for flour. Flory maize types have soft starch throughout with practically no hard vitreous endosperm and thus are opaque in kernel phenotype. Kernels tend to shrink uniformly upon drying, so usually have little or no denting. When dry, they are easy to grind, but many mold on the um, mature ear in wet areas. Podcorn Tunicate maize is more of an ornamental type. The major gene involved is capital T. You produces long glooms and closing each kernel individually like outer in many other grasses. The ears is also enclosed in husks as with other types of corn. Homozygous pod corn is usually highly self-sterile and the ordinary type of pod corn is heterozygous. Pod corn may be dent, sweet, waxy, pop, flint or flory in endosperm characteristics. It's merely a curiosity and it is not grown commercially. Ornamental corn. So-called ornamental or Indian corn commonly shows segregation for alleles of several genetic factors that control the production of uh, anthocyanins and related pigments in the aluron pericarp for various color expression and variegation of color may even be expressed within a kernel depending upon the genetic factors involved and their interaction during development of the kernel. Ornamental corns may be turned to sweet, pop, flint, flory and the sponge types. Apart from genetic studies, they are a curiosity and are only ground for ornamental and decorative purposes. High oil and starch maize. Maize kernels are generally divided into pericarp, endosperm and germ. The percent pericarp is 6% whereas endosperm takes a major share of 82% and germ is about 12%. If we take exclusively the endosperm, storage protein is zinc. The other non-storage proteins are albumin, globulin and glutalins. Whereas the storage protein zinc is further classified as alpha, beta, gamma and delta and the other proteins in the endosperm are phytins, oils, carotenoids, polysaccharides, free amino acids. Sweet corn, before going into sweet corn, I'll just uh, talk something about uh, this oil corn because I could not conclude it. Oil corn, the major content of oil is because of reduced content of zinc because whenever the oil percentage is increased in corn, the other other contents of endosperm are greatly reduced so the characteristics of uh, oil is maize oil it is used as bioethanol blended with the natural uh, petroleum products and used as a fuel coming to sweet corn Sweet corn was uh, originated in Mesoamerica and spread to the rest of the world in 1400s and early 1500s and known as very sweet vegetable. Difference between sweet corn and field corn is its genetic makeup rather than systemic or taxonomic characterization. This has been SU at sugary locus chromosome 4. However, sweet corn mutant app differs in the seed quality, storage and end use. Several endosperm mutants in traditional sweet corn industry are SU1, SH2, SE1, Brittle2 and uh, AE that is Amylose Extendo, DU, Dull and Waxy. Nutritional quality based on moisture is 72.7%, total solids 22.3%, carbohydrate 81%, protein 13%, lipid 0.3.5, comprised major portion of the solids. Also calcium, phosphorus, iron, potassium contents are reported in the fresh weight basis sweet corn. Storage materials in the endosperm is composed of sugars, glucose and sucrose and of intermediate polysaccharide products. 
ਸ਼ੂਗਰੀ ਜੀਨ ਐਸਯੂ ਵਿਚ ਬਲੌਕਸ ਕਨਵਰਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਸ਼ੂਗਰ ਟੂ ਸਟਾਰਚ ਆਫਟਰ ਮੂਵਿੰਗ ਫਰਮ ਲੀਵਸ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਕਰਨਲ ਰਿੰਕਲਡ ਅਪੀਅਰੈਂਸ ਆਫ ਸਵੀਟ ਕਾਰਨ ਇਸ ਐਟ੍ਰਿਬਿਊਟਡ ਟੂ ਏ ਕੰਪੈਰੇਟਿਵਲੀ ਸਮਾਲਰ ਸਾਈਜ਼ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੂਗਰ ਮੋਲੀਕਿਊਲ ਐਸ ਅਪੋਜ਼ਡ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਸਟਾਰਚ ਮੋਲੀਕਿਊਲ ਐਂਡ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਫੈਕਟ ਦੈਟ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੂਗਰ ਮੋਲੀਕਿਊਲ ਪੈਕ ਮੋਰ ਟਾਈਟਲੀ ਵੈਨ ਡਰਾਈਡ discovered the sc gene that enhances sweetness of the corn extend the time of sweet corn stayed tender and edible this gene also increase the maltose content of the kernel resulting in enhancement of taste sh2 gene resulted in much greater accumulation of sugar than su gene taste sensation of a 50% sweeter corn than normal sugary varieties high sugar content of sh2 kernel combined with water soluble polysaccharide in the su kernel balanced flavor texture and sweetness in the desirable combination that means when sh2 and su are uh, combined in the sweet corn it gives better desirable characters rather than being single coming to classification of sweet corn it is also called as stable corn the isolation class 1 means it is field dent or floor corn here the variety example is floor corn 2a means sugary or standard sweet corn gene is su variety examples are jubilee double taste silver cream 2b is sugary augmented with the sugary enhancer eh type su and sc are heterozygous and su and sc homozygous are here mm, the homozygous heterozygous type are candy corn silver i don't and uh, homozygous type are miracle and uh, bi that is uh, calico bell 2c is a sugary augmented with shrunken 2 or heterozygous sweet gene hybrid or synergists this is SUSH2 heterozygous example variety developed are sugar loaf then uh, 3a isolation class has shrunken 2 super sweet or extra sweet hybrid the homozygous recessive sugar gene is SH2 in this crisp and sweet 710 honey and pearl how sweet it is are the different varieties the last class is 3b in this shrunken to augmented with sugary or improved super sweet hybrid in this homozygous recessive sugar gene is sh2 su heterozygous the varietal examples are sweet 82 these are so uh, important sweet corn hybrids like uh, shankan 2 hybrids holiday exceptionally sweet by color and uh, hamilton coming to popcorn that is the name is ivata history of popcorn this belongs to native american group and uh, found in 19th century food industry like uh, utility of microwave helped in enhancing the popcorn production and popularizing it in the commercial market how the popping is uh, found by starch and water vapor and pericarp that is uh, mexico special type of flint corn which puffs up when it is heated in oil or by dry heat originated from wild grass and scientific name is siamis ivata popular as snack food all over the world and often served with a better and salt or butter flavored soya extract naturally very nutritious as it is high in fiber low in calories contains no sodium and is sugar and fat free each kernel contains a certain amount of moisture in its starchy endosperm pericarp is thick and uh, impervious to moisture internal pressure of about 9 atmosphere generates at heating by steam build until the pericarp suddenly ruptures causing a small explosion unpopped kernels do not have enough moisture to create enough steam for an explosion popular popcorns in the united states are act 2 jeffy pop pop secret jolly time etc 
in India Amber Popcorn Real Popcorn Benefits of Popcorn and its side effects The common health benefits are such that improving digestive health, rich in antioxidants, help in metabolism and provides energy and reduces depression, supports healthy bone function, controls blood sugar level, combats tumor cells, reduces craving for foods, prevents aging, lowers cholesterol level, controls anemia and helps in relieving constipation. Popcorn is a variety of corn kernel which forcefully expands and puffs up when heated. Popcorn kernel is a strong health contents the seeds hard starchy endosperm with 14 to 20 percent moisture which turns to steam as the kernel is heated. Pressure continues building until it exceeds the hull's ability to contain it. The kernel ruptures and forcefully expands allowing the contents to expand, cool and finally set in the popcorn puff 20 to 50 times the size of the original kernel. Some stains of corn are cultivated specially as popping corn. The Ziamese variety ever ties special kind of flint corn and is commonly used for making popcorn. Nutritional value The whole grain food and contains high amount of several important nutrients. 100 gram of air popped popcorn serves about 387 calories of energy, 13 grams of protein, 78 grams of carbohydrate, 5 grams of fat, 15 grams of fiber, 7% vitamin B1 that is thiamine, 12% vitamin B3 that is niacin, 8% vitamin B6, 18% iron, 36% magnesium, 36% phosphorus, 9% potassium, 21% zinc, 13% copper and 56% manganese. Coming to types of popcorn, there are two types, butterfly kernel which are large, light and fluffy and mushroom kernel that is used for coating. Growing popcorn It is planted between April 20th and May 10th usually. Soil temperature of 10 to 13 degree is necessary. Harvesting Harvested when kernel has moisture content 16 to 20 percent. This is most important for getting the proper popping in the corn. This is when it is too dry may not pop well. This is too moist also. Storing popcorn also known as conditioning once packed corn must be dried until it reaches its optimum moisture level of 13.5 to 14 percent. Coming to flavored popcorn, after cleaning it is popped and while hot flavors are added in a large tumbling device to coat the popcorn. The coated popcorn is cooled. This is then packed and shipped. Coming to waxy corn, starch or amylose. Uh, amylum is a polymeric carbohydrate contain, consisting of a large number of glucose units joined by glycosidic bonds. It is the most common carbohydrate in human diet and present in staple foods like potato, wheat, maize and rice. Starch generally contains 20 to 25 percent amylose and 75 to 80 percent amylopectin by weight. In the previous slides of uh, popcorn I forgot to tell that not only in maize in other crops like rice wheat or any of the cereal popping is possible but why it is most uh, popular in maize because the size is greater and eating is much preferred corn coming to starch corn uh, starch this is composed of 21 percent amylose and 79 percent of amylopectin Amylopectin is highly branched chain of glucose molecule. Approximately 20 of the percent of the annual corn harvest is used to produce products like sweetener, starch, oil, ethanol and animal feed. The remainder quantity is fed to livestock and poultry uh, farm. 
this is how the starch is used in different industries like in beverage syrup desert confectionery bakery product puddings gravy creams in instant meals colors printing weaving and textile medicinal or pharmaceutical paper glues ceramics and constructions spray concrete cosmetics etc thank you i hope you liked my video and do not forget to subscribe